Hello, I'm going to take a minute to show you how to copy assignments over from previous years in the new Power Teacher Pro. Uh, I'm already logged in to my Power School application, so I'm going to click on Power Teacher Pro in order to copy those assignments over. Now, once it loads up, it doesn't matter which class that you're in, the screen that we're going to go to next allows us to choose any class we want. In order to get to that screen, I'm going to click on the cog right here and I have the option to copy assignments. In the first section right here, I'm going to pick the previous class uh, that the assignment originated in. So let's just say for now, I'm going to go into previous school year. I know um, I'm going to go back a ways. I'm going to pick an assignment from quarter one of school year 2016-17. And the class that I'm picking is my computer technology class. In the two section, I'm going. That's the current school year. What what class do I want to copy it in right now? So I'm going to take assignment or assignments from my computer technology class back then, and I'm going to choose to make sure I'm under the 2018-19 school year. And I'm going to go to quarter one because that's where the classes are going in. And which particular class is it going to? Right here is my list of classes. If I come down here, I have another computer technology class. And that's where it's going to get imported into. Notice that class shows up right here. Any You can select multiple classes if you want. Uh, all of those classes will show up right here. Uh, when it comes to due dates, uh, what you can do is you can you have three different choices. You can keep the due date exactly the same from uh, from what the assignment is. So if it was due on September 1st, 2016, then it will be due on September 1st, 2018. Uh, so whatever that you know due date is, it, it will keep that accordingly. Relational means it will be uh, relative to whenever it was assigned uh, in, in the original time. So if it was assigned the third week, the third Wednesday of the school year, it will find that same kind of third relational uh, relationship date and, and kind of predict it. It might be off a little bit. You might have to go ahead and change it. You also have custom dates, which might be the easiest option to choose. Um, if you have multiple classes, let's say I have the same as I'm going to import it into this one too. Then on, on this one, it's it's going to give me what date do I want it specifically due uh, for, for those two classes. Now, to select the actual assignments, one thing, um, if, if you're new to the Power Teacher Pro and you're just coming over from the, the grade book, You'll notice right here that you will not have the option to select individual assignments. And like I said, this is from, I picked a class from 2016-17 school year. I was not on Power Teacher Pro back then. So it's really all or nothing on this. And of course, I can delete assignments if I want to. But, uh, but in the initial copying phase, I'm going, it's going to copy every single assignment over from whichever term uh, that you picked up here from the term section is going to take all of my quarter one assignments from seventh period computer technology and import them all into right now these two classes if that's what I was going to choose. I'm going to go back to just the one. So it's going to take all of my quarter one assignments from that school year and that class and import them into quarter one uh, of this class right here. Now to show you another situation 
you may be going from a previous year in Power Teacher Pro to the new school year. It's, you get a little bit more flexibility on that. But uh, so last year I was using Power Teacher Pro. I can go to third quarter semester. I can go to my computer technology class again. Right. Now, if I scroll down a little bit, now I have the option to pick and choose which assignments that I want to go. So if you're going from Gradebook to Power Teacher Pro, you're going to be copying all of your assignments over, and you're going to have, if you need to, you're going to have to delete some, move some around if you're doing things a little bit differently this school year. If you're going just from one school year to the next using Power Teacher Pro, then you can individually select individual assignments that you're going to copy over. Once you're all said and done and you've selected all the assignments or you know, you're satisfied with copying over all the assignments, click on your green copy assignments button and they come over accordingly. So now if I go back to my assignment list and I go to that particular class, those four assignments that I have checked in will all appear right there. And like I said, you can look right here at the due dates. If they don't actually correspond or if that relational uh, association wasn't quite right, you can always come back up here to the edit button and change whatever information you want. Maybe you, you change the points about it, whatever the case may be. You can still do that. Hope this helps everyone with Power Teacher Pro and copying assignments from previous years.